Hi there, my beautiful Leo Virgo. Welcome in to your blessings reading. So let's have a look into what is the next big blessing coming in. Um, any tiny little blessings that are coming through, whatever you need to know in regards to that. Uh, we are going to pull at the end some advice for you to attract these blessings a little bit faster and some charming for when they may be coming in, okay? So, oh, Jesus. Let's see what we have here. Okay. So we have grieving. Interesting card to get into blessings reading. We have inspiration and financial health. I feel like... Okay, let's try and put spiritual messages into human words <laughs> um there's something like a part of you it's almost like a part of you that is you're not paying attention to and that is actually the key for i don't know all your problems let's put that in a dramatic way um but the, like that part of you that you're not paying attention to it's actually the key to your financial health um you're probably feeling inspired to do that but then you hesitate on doing that you kind of put a block on it and I feel like your heart is really invested in that it's probably a dream come true it's a talent of yours and it is a blessing right and I feel like it does you so good it like it keeps you alive it, it helps you love yourself it's a part of you and I feel like you've been neglecting that a little bit and that part of you I feel like it's the part that is grieving it's not necessarily you I don't think you're grieving for anything if if anything, I feel like you're kind of letting go of, or you're, you're missing something. I feel like you're looking for something and you don't know what it is. Or if you do know how it is, what it is, you don't know how to get there. You know, th there's some part that is having a big question mark on top. And the question is, and, and the, the key here, the answer is, the point for you to uncover that question mark is already inside of you. You already know it. I feel like this is a talent that you're either not looking at, this is a, a hobby, a skill of yours, that you, a passion of yours that you really love, but you're not putting any effort into that, um, a desire that you're scared to pursue, you want love, but you're scared of getting hurt, right? It, a part of you is missing, but that part of you, it's already within you. I hope this is making sense, I hope. But like that is literally the key for I feel like this is not so much to do with love. I feel like this is especially to do with career because we have financial health here. So I feel like what is happening here, a talent, you're you're overlooking a talent. And I feel like you actually feel inspired to do that. I feel like you actually, you know, get excited dreaming about that talent. And oh, what if I actually were to pursue that and uh, sell some of my paintings, work a little bit harder on video games what if i start streaming you know i feel like there's something like some crazy ideas that have popped up in your mind but you're overlooking them and you're literally having all the answers inside of you in front of you you've already thought of the answers okay that is essentially it and i feel like the blessing here is you're finally listening to that and you're finally doing something about it and your financial life is like whoa just blossoming so we have the page of swords yeah and it's interesting that the page of swords is the spy and we're literally talking about things that you're overlooking so i feel like they're well hidden and i don't think they're hidden because of um i don't know let's rephrase that i feel like they're hidden because you're afraid of them maybe afraid that you're not good enough afraid that if you do invest in them, then you're going to get disappointed if they don't work. There's some sort of fear here. That is what's holding you back. Okay. But what do we got here from the tarot for the blessings that are coming in? We have the two cups, bottom of the deck. Lovely. We have the four swords, the knight of wands. That now I put it on the reverse. Um, but knight of wands and the ace of swords. The blessing, I, I don't even feel like the blessing is the consequence, like the natural consequence of it, which is money um, and financial health. I feel like the blessing here is you finally embracing that part of you. Because again, this is good for you. This is part of your well-being. This is part of you loving yourself. So money is just going to be a positive consequence of that. 
but you're literally not loving yourself fully because you're not doing this okay so this is a passion of yours that is I would even say maybe attached to a life purpose maybe attached to something bigger that maybe you're not going to know right now uh some of these things we only know in the future when we're actually successful and we actually see everything pan out in front of us um but I feel like in the end this is going to make a lot of sense on why it was so important okay so there is a passion of yours a hobby of yours that knight of wands that was in the reverse right that you're not looking and it is because of fear so once you really understand maybe the way to go with this is like make a list of all the things that you love to do all the things that you wouldn't mind doing for the rest of your life and it's funny because we just had a really similar reading to cancer leo um but a list of all the things that you love all the things and hobbies passions that you wouldn't mind doing for the rest of your life and then figure out how do I feel about each of those and is that a hobby that is like oh yeah I'll do that from time to time or is it a hobby that you actually crave for it like for example I love painting especially those like paint by numbers kind of thing And it's a hobby of mine. It's a passion of mine. I'm going to do that for the rest of my life, especially when I'm like retired. I'm going to paint so many freaking paintings. But that is not something that I see myself doing as like a career and making money out of it. It's just just a little hobby, right? So that would be something that I would scratch off that I don't really need to look into. But then there are other things. For example, for me, um, I would see, and I'm a Leo Virgo, so I would see this reading actually being about writing, because <laughs> that is something that I really love, and I tend to hesitate, I tend to procrastinate on it, because I really love it, but I'm also scared of it, so, you know, when we do these readings, we sometimes get called out too, um, but it's something like that, okay, that is just an example, take that for yourself, and the key here is to heal whatever fear and insecurity is attached to it, and move towards it, okay the blessing it's going to be the realization that oh so this might be it and then you have so many other tiny little blessings coming through the inspiration the money the well-being the good mood i feel like again this is part of loving yourself and uh, i was giving my personal example of writing for example and I did a reading for myself the other day. And the thing that they were saying about uh, me with writing, it's like, I've been getting so many hints that that may be a path for me. But the, the thing that it keeps showing up in my personal readings, it was do it has a way to love yourself. Do it because you love it. Do it has a way to love yourself. Do it because it makes you feel good. Not because of the things that you can get from that. No, let that feed you. Let that be a part of you. That were all the messages that were coming through. And this is it. First of all, this is a part of you that you're looking over. You're not paying attention to it. This needs to be fed, okay? So, let's get you here. The little cards of advice. Oh, yeah. So if you had any question of, hmm, I wonder, could this be it? Do you think it's this? You are on the right path. That is the thing, okay? But we also have do something that matters and be grateful. So this is giving me a big sense of all you got to do is love yourself. All you got to do is listen to yourself, okay? You don't need anything else, just that. All right, so do something that matters for you. Not because of the money, not because of what could happen. Do it because you love it. Do it has a way to love yourself, right? Keep that as your mantra, perhaps. <laughs> but then with this, the um, be grateful. I feel like when it comes to money, if that is something you've been worrying about or something that you've been looking for and you don't know how to solve it, right? That question mark that you know what that is about, but you don't know how to solve it. Um, I feel like gratitude can have a big role on that. And can help you attract more positive money energy and help you clear a little bit up of those things okay so let's get here into the final thing and look into some timing when may these blessings be coming up for my leo virgos so we have the 26th year 
uh, in the 18th. So those could be relevant in the 7th. <laughs> so essentially, every single week, you could have something going on this month. But then we have Scorpio. And it's interesting because Scorpio is about looking deep within yourself. And it's about hidden stuff. Um, so that could be something. Um, also serving has advice, you know, to look deep within yourself. And to look into hidden talents. We also have Spring. We have unclear timing and we have Mercury retrograde. So the next Mercury retrograde, let me look here into the calendar. Because we just had one. It was from the, it was until the 20, it was from the 1st of April to the 25th of April. And now the next one is in August, on the 8th of August until the 28th. Oh, so maybe this is what this is talking about, because this is literally during Mercury retrograde, except the 7th, but it's around that time. So the next Mercury retrograde in August could be relevant, but that is already summer. So I feel like this is the thing of, you know, this talent could be something that you invest in right now, and then it has like this long-term effect. So in spring, this is a time to plant things, Right. So this is a time to invest in that talent and maybe by August, by the next Mercury retrograde, you can see something actually blossoming and that you can harvest, right? So look within yourself to heal these wounds, start working on those talents, all right? And pay attention to these dates, either this month when you're watching this or around August, for example, in the next Mercury retrograde. But yeah, so Malia Virgo, this is what I have for you. I really hope this resonated and helped somehow. Um, if it did, definitely comment down below to claim these blessings. And don't forget to smash like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're interested in getting weekly messages for cusps, short readings for cusps, uh, spiritual guidance, twin flame readings, all of those beautiful things, Patreon is the place to be. The link is going to be down below. You can also check out there um, in the description box the links for my text. This is one of those if you're interested in getting them. And private readings, merch, all of those things. So thank you so much for being here. I love you very much. I wish you the best and hopefully we'll talk very soon. Bye-bye.